day and welcome to another episode on the spice here on leadership tv my name is Cynthia Almada. of course this afternoon we'll be discussing what has to do with parenting yes exactly parenting in the 21st century what is the effective way to parent a child in the 21st century you know that being a parent is one of the most delicate and important roles you can ever perform in your life so what does it mean to be a parent and also the 21st century why am i talking about the 21st century because these are different times that we're in right now there's a lot more technology social media children are not as naive as they used to be yet so what are the challenges people encounter when trying to raise their children in this very century looking at the issue of co-parenting when parents are not on the same page raising children in the area of social media raising children in the area of fading values raising children in economic hardship what does this entail and what exactly is the effective way or ways to raise a child in this very century this and more is what we'll be looking at on today's episode of the spy so you don't want to change this channel stay here with me i'll be right back after this break to talk more this of course to also introduce my guests that will be engaging with me on this conversation i'll be right back Welcome back to the Spice here on Leadership TV. Of course, it's still me, Cynthia Nodo, your host on the show. Of course, before we went on the break, I told you 
that will be discussing 21st century parenting. And of course, I'm here with my guest, Mr. Kunle Olasomi and Mrs. Christine Wogu. Welcome. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining me. Thank you so much. So um, let's just go right into what exactly is 21st century parenting. Not just parenting, the 21st century tag there. What makes it so special? What makes it so unique? Different. Okay. Um, 21st century, um, you can describe it as the internet age, mm. technology age. And uh, let me start by saying that um, some of these things uh, go a long, a long way to shape mm. uh, these children. Okay. Especially if we are not there as parents, it's 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 a we are in an age now where if care is not taken, children can be exposed to what they are not supposed to be, to be exposed to. That's one, and in exposing themselves or in exposing them to some of these things, or when they are exposed to some of these things, at the end of the day, it may be difficult. So say probably you want to correct them or you want to uh, uh, take action on them when they go astray or when they go, go astray, wrong. Yeah. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> um, the long and short of it is that the, the 21st century parenting uh, has to do with, uh, let me see, Internet and technology. Internet and technology. Yes. Not, not internet and technology as in racing them. I'm talking about the age where we are now. The times we are now. Yeah, the times we are in now has to do with internet and technology. So that's why we all uh, somebody somebody was saying something, said you don't buy uh, smartphones for your children, buy a touch light phone for them, but <laughs> I don't agree with that anyway. <laughs> okay. All right, Mrs. Christian, I would like to get from you what, what you think about what's the tree parenting. And why is it even called that? Yeah, let me start with saying that uh, parenting, the usual parenting we know, is um, an act of raising a child from babyhood to adulthood. So when you now bring in that flaw of 21st century parenting, it has to do with a shift from way the style of parenting in the okay. previous generation. Okay. And when you're talking about 21st century parenting, it's a kind of parenting where you need to raise these children in an atmosphere of love. You know, in an environment of love, support, and many other factors. The 21st century parenting is a very delicate and demanding type of parenting. Mm. Wow, yeah, that's of why I said it's a shift from what we from the to, modus operandi, yeah, yeah, from the previous, from yeah. what, yeah. Even what we are used to, yeah. yeah. So it, it, it's very it's different, demanding and, and very delicate. Okay, it's, it's demanding and delicate. So, looking at the demand and the uh, uh, challenges, you know, and what makes it so unique, what and what can we say is challenging about. This yeah. style of parenting, yeah. this time okay. You know, the 21st century uh, parenting is quite different from what we experience doing. No, no, not we. Let's say some of our parents experience. And some yeah, of us yeah. experience. It too. Yeah, <laughs> okay. you know, you yeah, know, yeah it's true. It's what, true. Okay, what, you know, like um, there's usually this general belief that um, the place of demand is that of a breadwinner. He mm. goes out to source for whatever. Wow. <laughs> while the woman <laughs> stays at changed. home to take care of the mm. children. And all. But the 21st century, it's a different thing because you have both either the man, both of both, both, you know, both functions. Yes, trying to striving to balance the act of caring for the children, mm. solving other family related issues, mm. very mm. critical ones, and then trying also to be successful in their chosen career. You so, so it's it's it's, it's yeah. that's why I said it's very delicate and demanding. You're here trying to take care of children, yes, you have 
God has blessed you with kids, you need to send to them yeah. from that early stage because you know the foundation you give to your children matters a lot. And then apart from that um, care you're giving to the kids, there are other pressing family needs. Definitely. So you have to attend to. And then here you are, you're a working class man, you're a working class woman, yeah. you're maybe doing this kind of a job where it is very demanding. Yes. You want to prove that Fine. For that, I am a very productive person. You know, my family is not affecting my job, so that you will not say when you're, you know, assessing me, you're evaluating me, you tell me that my person. So you want to, you know, you're striving. You're yeah. partnering with meeting with your own personal development, personal development, yeah. career, family, yes. and child okay. of but, but, but before I like, I just want to to watch just what Christy said. You didn't go there, but I will go there. Okay. When you said. The man is working, the woman is working. I think part of the problem we have today also has to do with the economic situation we find ourselves. Wow, definitely. I don't know if you know, because the man, just as you said, before now, you see some men will tell their wives, don't work, face the children, I will take care of everything. But how many men can say that today? Mm. I don't know whether you get my point. How many men can say, don't work, stay at home, face the children. Uh, but because of the economic situation, a man may not be able to take care of every need of the family. He needs the but, wife's support. But sir, I, I, I'm sorry to cut you short. Apart from economic situation, uh, can we just say change? Change is one thing that is really constant. And we are hammering on this 21st century, being the century of of updates in technological advancement modernization modernization thank you and then this whole feminism thing i'm an independent woman i can take care of myself i can help I, the I, I feminism movement apart from economy uh, you know, the modernity, modernity yes i agree changing. with you i agree with you i agree with you uh but largely mm -hmm. largely if you ask me it's my view largely it's the economy because I don't know any woman that a man want to be taking care of. Yes, I don't know any woman that a man will say, "Don't worry, how much are they going and to they, pay you in that work? I'll pay you." Well, sometimes it's not even about what you're getting as a mm. um, maybe as a as a you worker. Know, there are people who have passion for a particular, for a particular thing, thing and, and you want to, you know, I agree. you understand. So it is not always about the economy. But you see, I have I I know of a family where the man is extremely rich. The woman is also from a very rich family. He initially said, no, don't do it. He see, he, yes, he initially said the woman should do work. They had everything. She was driving as a the card of her own choice. Mm. You understand? But the thing is, if you're this type of person that has passion for a particular thing, at a point, the thing almost brought problems. She had to talk to a lot of people to convince her husband to allow her. She went into teaching profession. She has that you no know, left for, for, for teaching. teaching. Wow. Not necessarily because they needed the money. I mean, this I'm talking about a woman who can just call you and say, What choice of car do you want? And she can buy it. Okay. Um, apart from a, the economic challenges and problem. modern and the mo modern times, civilization. feminism, civilization, I think all of that you can um, join all of that and call it change. This is a, a century of change. <laughs> a lot of changes. People see things differently now. What used to be a taboo or a big deal before 20, uh, 100, 100 years ago, 50 years ago, it's no longer the same. So we cannot like a lot of change. So raising children in times like this where there's change, because you also as a parent, this is what you are used to. Yeah. So then you are raising a child in changing times. There might be a struggle. You might be struggling. You know, there'll be friction between parent and child. No, yes, this is how it's supposed to be. The child said, no, this is how I want it to be. So that, you know, definitely exists. So let's now move to outdated parenting styles. What do you, what do you think are the styles? Well, if, styles you, if you say outdated, outdated, I will say outdated in quotes. There are so many things that we feel are outdated now, which we still need okay. in raising some of these children. Mm. For example, Many people will argue against flogging a child. Okay, corporal punishment. <laughs> yes, many people will argue against it, but mm -hmm. me, I believe, but I believe in it. Okay. Yes, because because there are things. Uh, uh, before we before we came into the studio, we were talking. I said mm -hmm. some of us were beaten in black and. If I let me tell you something, I would have been a footballer, but I did not play football because of my mother. My mother would beat 
the hell out of me if I go out and play football. Because she believes, she doesn't know why I, I, I understand, I understood her fears. Yes. Her fear game was time. that, let me not join bad, bad gangs. Okay. I don't know. Let Listen me after a ball, it was like a waste Let me tell you, then. let me tell you something. Uh, my school is a little, a little bit far from the house. It's like maybe from here to, I don't know. Uh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't um, picture it now. But my school is a little bit, a little bit far from the house. My mother expects that from your school to the house, mm. you should, you can walk like one hour okay. from your school to the house. So when you finish school at two, she expects that by three you should be home. Cool. If you get home at three thirty, she will warn you. Where did you go to? Where are you coming from? You are late. Blah blah blah. But if you get home at four, <laughs> you know that <laughs> you, know the you are going to be flopped. The result of that. Yes, you are, yes, you know. So so those things also guided me. Okay. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. Mm. So for me, if you talk about outdated method or ways of raising these children, I think flogging should should still be part of okay so if accepted you still accept flogging yes but what other outdated what other style of parenting do you think you know now i'm coming uh, christine now when you when you do too much to instill discipline in these children they will say that you are encroaching on their fundamental human rights. rights. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Yes. So there are so many things that mm -hmm. I may not be able to mention now. You know them. You and I know them. But for me, I think these are part of the problems we are having with these children. And in fact, these are part of the problem we are having today. Okay. Let me tell you something. I was, I was saying something before we came in. I said, and that is the truth. I, I believe in that. Mm -hmm. That there are parents that should still be under their parents that are raising children now. <laughs> yes, that's the truth. Okay, let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. I've seen, I think we, there was this um, video we saw on our show every day, we even played it. A parent was dancing, I, I think at the party, and they were giving alcohol, a beer. Yeah, I don't know whether that. you saw, yeah, you saw the video. Yeah. Yes, about five years or so. Not even I'm not even, that child is was even uh, is even age, up yeah. to five years. So that kind of parent mm. still needs to be corrected. Okay. Or that kind of mother or father. See, I've seen another video where a man is giving a girl of about less than five years this such an alcohol to drink, and he <laughs> was videoing it. So what do you want to say about those ones? Mm. So for me, those ones still need training. Okay, they still need training. They yes. Still need to be trained. All right, Miss. If, if, if you ask me about um, the outdated mm. style of um, parenting, you know the the twenty-first century children are more comfortable with um, collaboration. Okay. What rather do you mean by collaboration? Rather than they, rather than this um authority, authority, you know, okay. my father will show me, mm. you know, the the era of don't ask. Don't my negotiate. word is final. Yes. yes. Don't ask. Don't negotiate. This command, you know, um, I know the best for you. I will choose this. I will. Yes. Whatever your father says, like you know, I had a very strict father. Who are you to even ask him that? Mm. Uh, please, uh, can I mm. or this? No, no, no. He takes for you. He tells you the Christy, I think yeah. you should tell us the story of the sweets. Okay, the sweets are the I told him, I narrated my own side of, let me, let's just keep it for another day. So, okay. you know, apart from the, mm. the, the flogging of the thing, the spanking and his thing, that commanding type of mm. style of parenting where you don't, you just feel that you listen, the child you don't have listen to their view anyway. It is the father, the mother who takes decision. Mm. You don't do this. I don't ask. Don't negotiate. I have said this. Mm. Stop. And the child will just be looking at you. But that, you don't, ah, I, during our time, who are you? If my father comes to the park, mm. automatically, if we're watching television, ah, you stand if, up. immediately he enters, all of us, Everybody. Your dad, oh, is everybody mm. going to be? But was that, right? was that even no, a right? No, it may not. That may not be no, right. Don't, don't, don't forget. You, you 
said something during your your my intro your intro mm. where you said that most of the things they did actually actually impact like, yes. there are so many things they still you know mm. you know that the so that's part that's of us still like, there's yes. something my parents did like if i don't come to work even as i was married and i have to if i any day i don't still if i don't come to the office i'm mm. always in the, in the i won't even get up to the gate that was part of what my parents did yeah. you dare not my yeah, people that don't know how from, to sit at from place. wherever he yeah. went to and you're not at home. Yeah. The only reason why you step out of the house is if you did, maybe you were sick, you didn't go to school, and you just tell him that you want to collect notes from church. Yeah. Should, from church, immediately the share grace, you don't have any business waiting. outside. Before he gets <laughs> home, you should have been at home. You, have home already. Like, you know, you understand what I mean? So mm. I grew up with that mm. style mm. to the point that even when I came to Abuja, I got married. If I want to travel, Tomorrow. I will still have to call my mom because my dad is now late to tell him to tell her yes. I am traveling because I just mm-hmm. feel that if I don't tell yeah, her she gets like your responsibility. Get yeah, you understand, and it has really helped me too yeah. in molding my own kids too. Okay, as it stands, my children will know if they want to if they know that they want to stand by the balcony. Mommy, please, we know that what we want to ask, we know you will not accept it, mm. but let's just act because <laughs> we know that uh, mm. if well, if you say no, no problem. They already know I will say no. So sometimes I would just laugh. That's why I say mm. we have shifted from that era of don't negotiate, don't ask. Sometimes mm. I'll just okay, uh, I'll call my girl, stay with them. Five minutes, you're taking mm. your time. Once it's five minutes coming. But I'm you're not trying to avoid being yeah, but I want authority. to give them that sense yeah. of belonging. I want to show them that mm. don't forget that I said something when I did it's a shift from what the yes. previous generation yeah. actually, yeah. Yeah. you know. Yeah. So I want to make you I want to love you. I am raising you in an environment of mm. love, mm. support, care, yet I am fair. Okay. That's how it will be like five minutes. Carry your phone, be checking your time. <laughs> Once it's five minutes, I will not even call. They are already inside. So it's what our parents kind of did towards them. That we as it stands, I don't buy it of credit. Off, I don't yeah. buy anything yes. of credit because I bought sweet of credit <laughs> and the story is if I want to narrate my story. Of what mm. I went through that day. Okay. But well, you didn't buy it on pay. There was no change. There was you still live. There was no change. Still live with that memory. I'm telling up you. Till tomorrow. It's still okay. as fresh so as I think we can all agree that we can be a, a, a lot more liberal as parents in this particular um, generation of. You know, the Gen Z and can be and liberal and fair at the same time. Yeah, can be liberal. Like, but is it possible for you to be a parent and be? A friend of your child. And yes. It's impossible. Yes. And what yes. Is feel like it's when, you, when you when you are a friend to your child, I think you will even have less job to do because okay. he will not be afraid of he or she will not be afraid of you. Mm. He will open up to you. He will tell you things. Let me give you an example. Just as Christy, Christy said now, when when we were growing up, my father was a banker, and immediately it is six o'clock or six thirty. My mother will say, you go and sweep that place. You go and do that. You go and do that. Because mm-hmm. when it comes, it is all those things he will be checking. He will be looking at how dirty or clean the, yeah, house, the is. house is. And then, just as just as, uh, mm-hmm. as Christy said, once we, my father liked to listen to news. Mm-hmm. So when when he comes back, once he enters the parlor, we know that it is news. So all of us will just... Take out. <laughs> we and just your, your leave one after the other. Mm. So and and apart from that, apart from that, I said something. Now I said, my mother is very strict. He was strict, yet we love him. we love her. Or they were strict, yet we love them. In fact, let me tell you something. It was when the two of them died that I personally I appreciated everything. Everything they did. They did yes. Yeah. My mother would, my father would tell you that. Then, no, then that we are, uh, that when then when there was discipline, mm-hmm. not now. You know, there is no discipline now. Mm-hmm. They would tell us that um, we are so spoiled that during their days, when their parents just take a look at them like this, okay, they talking, under- just talking they, with the eyes, they, yeah, talking with the eyes, they understand. What a, what kind of message? You yes, are I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. So, but not the children of today. Mm. Aha. So, I think um, a lot has to be done. Okay, you know? a lot has to be done. So, let's move on now to the issue of economic hardship and the fact that some parents are, you know, grappling and struggling with 
the economy, raising the children, yeah, you know, in a sometimes in a bad environment, you know, the ghetto and all that. Some place some families we have a you know the father figure has even lost his voice as a result of not having that grip on the family. So what do we have to say now? Raising children, especially in these times, I know we are all feeling it with the economy now. Things are hard, prices of goods have gone up. So how do you also instill the value in your child, the value of contentment, the, the, the value of, you know, being satisfied with what you have, not putting your attention or your eye into vices happening around you, prostitution, drugs, Yahoo, Yahoo, and the rest of them. We are all updated on the story of Os Oscar, uh, uh, who Os o o o Augusta now, is an Instagram influencer who was killed by her yeah, we are boyfriend, killer boy, and the back and forth between the boy and the mother. You know, it was so shocking, surprising. Why why is this mother even arguing with this boy? So you knew she was in a relationship um with somebody who was less than 30 and amassed all this wealth over the years. She was less than 21. She was always in different countries um at a time. Sometimes you are not even updated on where your child is. So that, that 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 woman now i'm not trying to put blame but can you say that she was actually a good parent um, a good mother now i'm just using that as an example to talk about the whole situation about you know, what we are going through at the yeah moment. being contented raising children in times of uh, economic hardship people even buying laptops for their sons to teach them yeah we are to go and learn yeah i don't know about this <laughs> right. about yeah, the last, last one i don't know about it but first thing you can say something i will come i'll ask something it, 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 Ma, i know you, you you knew about that story right yes i know about the instagram story. influence it should I know be less than 21 years the guy ran away right yes ran away uh, to I think he, came back. Alone. Was later, later he came back yeah. i know he came he surrendered himself okay so the the truth is that uh, it's very possible to raise your kid even when the economy is biting Mm. And yet, eh, so it is very good and God fearing, very well mannered <clears throat> children in the 21st century. How is that possible? I, I want to use myself as an example. But, like Kule said initially, for you to be a parent mm. in the 21st century, you yourself will have to be disciplined yourself. Okay? Because it's only somebody be who is disciplined. If you're not, you, you have to be a good back. example. Because as you talked about um, um, raising children in ghetto, I grew up in a, a semi ghetto. Yeah. You know this face my face, where you in the no, night. Oh, it's face my face. Face me, I slap you. Okay. <laughs> you know, where, where you have to, at night, you have to raise the table, spread mats for everybody mm, to sleep. sleep. That is the kind of environment I grew in. We yeah. stayed in one room at the family. And we still had visitors, we had cousins who were staying with us. I hoped. I keep telling people that maybe because if you see my brother, they are very if I'm talking to them, I raise my, my face. Mm -hmm. You understand to talk to them. So I feel that that's like it everyone. Don't insult me all that the things where I hope. Sorry, that mm -hmm. I, I forgot that not every day too. <laughs> <laughs> so you understand that kind of a thing. So mm. my mom was a nurse. She was a nurse. But she'll go for night duty, come back in the morning, watch to the market to buy palm oil, to buy kerosene, to buy gary, to buy bag of things. We didn't employ people to we were selling it. And I speak to my older sister happens to be a microbiologist. We are all graduate six, two mm. lawyers and you know. Mm. But the truth is none of us that do not mm. we we saw things. I will go to school with the hardship. I'll go to trek to school. And my school the distance from here to my from my house to school there was like mm. trekking from here to the floor. If you know wow. where zone four is, mm -hmm. so we trek. I was doing it happily. We trek in the morning, go to school, come back. You know, you go to sell, and when you come back in the evening, mm -hmm. tired, and my father sees you sleeping, you're in trouble. He will beat you very well because you need to read. Yeah. And then you'll be asking yourself, see this man, you know, with all what I went to, you know. <laughs> I still remain Cynthia and Rado, of course, until I come back next week. Mm -hmm. On the spice, stay spicy. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for watching. Ah, thank you, Sam. I hope you did please contact 080 3688 Last Word Leadership Podcast Studio. You have the last word.